Now let's take a look at some examples of how we can use k, or the equilibrium constant. So let's say that we know that the equilibrium constant for a particular reaction is 252. And we know the balanced equation, so this is the balanced equation we used in previous examples. But we don't know whether this reaction is currently at equilibrium. So, but we do know what the concentrations are right now. We know that these are the concentrations right now. So what we want to know is, is this at equilibrium? Because remember, it takes time for a reaction to reach equilibrium. This reaction may not be at equilibrium yet. So the way that we can do this is we're going to calculate what the K would be right now. If it's at equilibrium, then we would expect it to be 252. If it's not at equilibrium, it's going to be higher or lower than that value. So we're going to use the the K equation. So K, this, we have our products, three, coefficient squared over concentration of nitrogen, exponent of one, times hydrogen, exponent of three, because that's the coefficient, this is our k equation, and we can plug our values from here into our k equation. Plug in the values, and I get around 7,900 for my k. Well, that's not equal to 252. So our reaction is not at equilibrium. If this K is too high, so this 7,900 is more than 252, so it's too high. So what that means is that we have too much product. So what that tells us, if we have too much product, our reaction is going to go backwards to get rid of that product. That's one way that we use our K value. Let's take a look at a second example. So I'm going to use the same equation. And in this case, I am, so it's still got a K value of 252 for this particular reaction of the conditions I'm looking at. I know the concentration of nitrogen. I know the concentration of hydrogen. And I want to find the amount of ammonia, or NH3, that's produced at equilibrium. Once again, I'm going to have to use my K equation. And I want to find the amount of ammonia. So I want to find this value. All right, now I'm going to use my K equation, and I'm going to need to plug in the values for each of these and solve for the ammonia. You could also rearrange this equation first, then plug in the values. You can do it either way. So I'm going to just plug in the values from the problem. K was 252. I have 0 0.12 and 0 0.38. Don't forget that this is going to end up being cubed, and that this value is squared here. I rearrange by multiplying both sides by 0 0.12 times 0 0.38 over 1. So those are going to cancel. Those are going to cancel. It's cubed. 0 0.12 times 0 0.38 cubed. You see that here. 
that's going to equal my ammonia squared. So doing the math, I get 1.659 is equal to ammonia squared. Don't forget that to get rid of a square, we need to take the square root of each side. So taking the square root of each side, I get around 1.288 or around 1.3 molar for my ammonia at equilibrium. So do be careful about reversing exponents. So taking the square root, you can, you can take square roots, cubed roots, fourth roots, and so on. Uh, do make sure that you know how to do that with your particular calculator.